Ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, good afternoon. Welcome to the press conference of Joint Expert Team of China WHO SARS-CoV-2 Origin Research. This is Mi Feng, the spokesperson of China National Health Commission. 新冠肺炎疫情全球大流行以来，世界卫生组织积极推动抗击疫情国际合作。中国始终坚定支持世卫组织发挥全球抗疫领导作用。Since COVID-19 became a global pandemic, WHO has been actively promoting the international cooperation in terms of the COVID-19 response. China has always been showing firm support to WHO in terms of unleashing the role of WHO in the, in the leadership of the global COVID-19 response. 经双方协商一致，中国与世界卫生组织共同开展新冠病毒全球溯源研究中国部分工作。自2021年1月14日，世卫组织国际专家抵达武汉以来，联合专家组从流行病学、分子学、动物与环境三方面入手，以视频会议、现场考察、座谈交流等形式。开展系统研究，目前已按计划完成了在武汉的科学研究工作。With the consensus based on two sides' negotiation, China and WHO have conducted joint research of the SARS-CoV-2 global source tracing, in, in, uh, including the China part. Since the arrival of international expert teams in Wuhan. Uh, from January in January the 14th, 2021, the joint expert team has been working from three groups, respectively the group of epidemiology, molecular research, animal and environment. The experts have been working in the forms of uh, video conferences, on-site interviews and visits, and also discussions. They have conducted systematic and full-fledged research. They have already concluded the China part of the source tracing in Wuhan, according to the original plan. During this period, Mr. Ma Xiaowei, the Minister of China National Health Commission, has been discussing and having abundant communication with Dr. Tedros, the Director General of WHO through telephone. They have fully exchanged their ideas in terms of the scientific cooperation in the origin source tracing. 今天的发布会由联合专家组外方组长、世卫组织食品安全专家皮特·本·安布雷克先生、专家组成员、分子流行病学小组组长玛丽昂·库普曼斯女士和中方组长、清华大学梁万年先生共同出席。For today's conference, we have the participants from the joint expert team, and they are Mr. Peter Ben Engbarak from WHO's food security expert, and also Madam Marian Koopman, the team of the, uh, the member of the joint expert team, and also the team leader of the molecular and epidemiological research group, and also Professor Liang Wanlian from Tsinghua University. He is the team leader of the Chinese team of the joint expert team. They will show you the details of the current COVID-19 research. 并回答记者提问。发布会全程采用交传的方式，可以用中文或者英文提问。The participants from the joint expert team are going to introduce to the public and to the press of the relevant situation of the SARS-CoV-2 origin tracing in China, and also they are going to answer your question. This press conference will have consecutive interpretation, so press can ask your question either in Chinese or in English. 首先，我们请中方组长梁万年先生介绍相关情况。First, I would like to invite Professor Liang Wanlian, the team leader from the Chinese side, to introduce the relevant achievements in this、uh, source tracing in Wuhan. 各位媒体朋友们，大家下午好。呃，我代表联合专家组
就是中国世界卫生组织新冠肺炎疫情联合研究的专家组，简要的向大家汇报一下我们这一次溯源联合研究的关于研究的基本过程以及主要发现。那么，关于研究的一些基本结论和下一步的研究建议，等一会。皮特本博士将为大家作为介绍。Dear friends from the press, good afternoon. On behalf of the team leader from the Chinese side of the China WHO Joint Expert Team of the SARS-CoV-2 Origin Research, I would like to give you a brief introduction of the major research process and also the key findings of our endeavour in our recent mission. As regards for the conclusions and future recommendations and plans, these two parts will be introduced by the team leader from the WHO experts team, Dr. Peter Ben. We 我们二零二一年一月到二月这一个阶段的主要研究，同时是基于全球和中国过去的科学家们一些研究资料的综述和分析基础上所形成的研究报告。This mission in Wuhan from January the 21, from uh, from uh, from January to February 2021, are based on the original mission that is convinced by WHO in terms of the global source tracing research of the SARS-CoV-2. This part is the first part, China part, and also the joint research report is based on the relevant uh, research crystallization from the Chinese and international scientists in the past, and also. The literature review of the previous uh, research and also the analysis will be also included in this joint report. 二零二零年五月，第七十三届世界卫生大会要求，世界卫生组织总干事与合作伙伴一道，查明引发新冠肺炎疫情的病毒人畜共患来源及其传播给人的途径。是包括中间宿主可能发挥的作用。那么，这种溯源的目的是预防动物和人类被该病毒再次感染，避免形成新的人畜共患的宿主，以及降低人畜共患疾病出现和传播的更大的风险。In May 2020, the World Health Assembly requested the Director General of the World Health Organization to work with the partners to identify zoonotic source of SARS-CoV-2, the causative virus of COVID-19, and the route of its introduction to the human population, including the possible role of the intermediate hosts. The aim was to prevent reinfection with the virus in animals and humans and prevent the establishment of new zoonotic reservoirs, as well as to reduce further risk of emergence and transmission of zoonotic diseases. 二零二零年七月，世界卫生组织和中国着手开展病毒溯源研究的相关工作，商定工作任务决定，那么就是形成了。有关研究范围、主要指导原则和预期的主要成果等内容。工作任务包括初期的一些短期研究。那么，这个短期研究重点是为了更好的了解病毒如何引入，呃，并在武汉市是如何传播的。世界卫生组织秘书处和中国政府共同商定，成立了一个国际多学科的团队，设计、支持和开展了一系列的研究。那么，以协助追踪新型冠状病毒的来源及其对人类的传播途径。联合国际团队的工作
将为其他地区的树叶、全球的树叶奠定了基础。In July 2020, WHO and China began the groundwork for the studies to identify the virus origins. The agreed terms of references, or TOR, define the scope of the studies, the main guiding principles, and the main expected deliverables. These TORs envisage an initial phase of short-term studies to better understand how the virus might have been introduced and started to circulate in Wuhan. The WHO Secretariat and the Government of, of China together established an international multidisciplinary team to design, support, and conduct these studies to contribute the, to the tracing of the origins of SARS-CoV-2 and the route of its transmission to human beings. The work of the joint international team will set the ground for origin tracing work elsewhere. In this, Jiang 和有效应对。The global origin tracing work would therefore not be bound to any location and may involve geographically as evidence is generated and science-based hypotheses evolve. The overall results and findings would benefit improved global preparedness and response to SARS-CoV-2 and emerging zoonotic diseases of similar origin. 那么，联合国际研究团队有十七名。中方专家和十七名来自于十个国家，呃，就是其他的国家，世界卫生组织、世界动物卫生组织，呃，以及全球疫情预警和反应网络合作伙伴的专家组成的联合研究团队。研究团队的研究在武汉。主要是二零二一年的一月十四日至二月十日进行了现场的研究，为期总共是二十八天。The joint international team comprised seventeen Chinese and experts and seventeen international experts from ten other countries, and also they represent WHO, World Organization of Animal Health, partners in the Global Outbreak Alert and Response Network. The joint study team was、uh, conducted over a 28-period research from January the 14th to February 10th, 2021, in Wuhan, by having a lot of on-site research. 那么，联合研究团队啊，就是分成为三个工作小组，呃，对中国专家以及呃相关的研究领域，呃。在前期的研究工作进行了回顾，啊，并且共同的讨论。那么三个研究小组分别是流行病学小组、动物与环境溯源小组、分子流行病学和生物学溯源小组。The team, through its three working groups. Review the process, progress made by Chinese experts in phase one studies in the areas of the following three parts: epidemiology, animals and environment, and the molecular epidemiology and bioinformatics. 那么，除了三个工作小组之外，我们的这个团队还听取了相关议题的一些详细介绍，那么并开展了一系列的现场访问。和关键知情人的访谈。In addition to the three working groups, the international team received detailed presentations on relevant topics to help inform its work and undertook a series of site visits and interviews with key informants. 那么，下面我简要的介绍一下我们联合研究的结果。第一，关于分子流行病学的溯源研究结果
Now I would like to give you a brief introduction of the key findings in our joint mission. The first part of my introduction will be the results of the molecular epidemiological study. Yeah,了解 as most emerging viruses originate from animals, understanding the process that may lead to a spillover and global spread requires a deep analysis of both the diversity and evolution of viruses in an animal reservoir, the interactions between animals, their environment and humans, and the factors contributing to the efficient human-to-human -human transmission. 一般来说, 能导致全球大流行的病毒，一定是具备了高度适应人类环境的这种特征。这种适应可能是偶然获得的，也可能是通过多个步骤逐渐演变的，而且每个步骤都得益于自然的选择。Generally speaking, a virus causing a global pandemic must be highly adaptive to human environment. Such adaptation may occur suddenly or may have evolved through multiple steps, with each step driven by natural selection. Therefore,我们将新型冠状病毒的素颜工作重点放在了两个阶段。第一阶段是其病毒在发生人虚共患。转移前的动物宿主，它是如何循环的？在这一进化过程当中，各种动物物种理论上说都可能成为保存宿主。the search for the origins of SARS-CoV-2, therefore, needs to focus on two phases. The first phase involves viral circulation in animal hosts before zoonotic transfer. During this evolutionary process, various animal species may serve as reservoir hosts. The新冠病毒的主先猪可能在其循环的过程当中获得了感染人类的能力。高度同源的病毒表明，新冠病毒可能源于人畜共患的传播，但其储存事主有待进一步明确。Progenitor strains of the SARS-CoV-2 may have acquired an increased ability to infect humans during their circulation. The discovery of viral sequences with high homology to SARS-CoV-2 suggests that SARS-CoV-2 may have originated from zoonotic transmission, but the reservoir hosts remain to be identified. The Yi 一旦具有大流行潜能的病毒发生了演化及外溢也就是溢出就会使其扩散而导致大量具有十亿亿变异的病毒在不同地域的人群中出现引发大流行 the second phase involves evolution of SARS-CoV-2 during its spread in human populations following zoonotic transfer. 
the likelihood of animal-human spillover increases with increased frequency intensity of animal and human contact. Spillovers may be occurring repeatedly if the genomic of the virus in the reservoir requires further adaptation for efficient onward transmission. Such early spillovers may go undetected. Once viruses with pandemic potential evolve or spill over, this would enable their spread, resulting in substantial clusters of viruses with adaptive mutations in different geographical human populations, and hence causing the pandemic of COVID-19. Yang 从这两种物种中发现的病毒，以新冠病毒的相似度都不足以使其成为新冠病毒的直接祖先。Evidence from surveys and targeted studies so far have shown that coronaviruses most highly related to SARS-CoV-2 are to be found in bats and pangolins suggesting these mammals may be the reservoir of the virus that causes COVID-19. On the basis of high similarity in sequences between the sampled viruses and SARS-CoV-2. However, the viruses identified so far from neither of these species are sufficiently similar to SARS-CoV-2 to serve as direct progenitor of the SARS-CoV-2. <laughs> 对新冠病毒的高度易感性也表明，可能还有其他动物物种是潜在的宿主，比如说鼬科和猫科类的动物，呃，包括其他物种。那么将序列数据库中的数据与潜在宿主动物调查中的数据进行比较后，我们可以发
with exposure to Huanan market had identical virus genomes, suggesting these can be part of a cluster. Ha However, the sequence data also show that some diversity of viruses was already present in the early phase of the pandemic in Wuhan, suggesting unsampled chains of transmission beyond the Huanan market, beyond the Huanan market cluster. There was no obvious clustering by the epidemiological parameters of raw meat exposure or exposure to fur animals. 那么, 审查了已经发表的研究的文献中是要早于这个一些相关的首发病例的报告，这也提示呃不排除一些地区存在着漏诊的情况。Finally, the according to the relevant literature review concerning the research on the data. It suggests that early circulation of SARS-CoV-2 from unpublished studies was uh, also a very important part of our review. These studies from different countries suggest that SARS-CoV-2 circulation preceding the initial detection of cases by several weeks. Some of the suspected positive samples were detected even earlier than the first case reported. This this indicates the possibility of the missed reported circulation in other regions. 那么这些所谓的漏诊是和这个疾病和病毒的特征是有紧密关联的。这是我们通过全球的一些相关数据的分析所得出来的一个基本的判断。omission or report of the cases or the underreporting of those kind of cases are highly related to the disease cause and also the symptoms of those uh, illness. So this is a uh, basic judgment that we can achieve after the review of the global data and the relevant uh, literature of the global research community. 关于流行病学溯源的一些结果 那么流感样疾病和严重进行呼吸道疾病坚持，并结合适当的实验室确认，是衡量流感和其他呼吸道病毒对人群影响的标准的一些措施。为了确定新冠肺炎致病体在爆发前几个月对发病例可能产生的影
of the impact of influenza and other respiratory viruses in the community to determine the possible impact of mobility or the causative uh, agent of COVID-19 in the month before the outbreak of COVID-19. Add out sentinel surveillance data from ILI, from one hospital in Wuhan, and SARI surveillance data from provincial hospital in Hubei province was reviewed. The food name for SARI is Severe Acute Respiratory Illness. The findings indicated that there is no substantial unre unrecognized circulation of SARS-CoV-2 in Wuhan during the latter part of 2019. 有4500余份的研究项目标本進行回顧性的檢測,也未發現新型冠狀病毒的存在. In retrospective testing of a, co of a convenient subset of stored samples of more than 4500 research project samples from the second half of 2019 stored at various hospitals in Wuhan. The Red Hop Hubei province and other provinces, no SARS CoV 2 was identified. The Linso Yao Dian, the Tres Rio Yao, Gan Mao Yao, her Kersho Yao, Go My Liao, Jishi Fenshi, Wei Neng Ti Gong, Xin Guan Bing Du, Zao Chi, Sir Hui Hu Dong, the Yu Yong Xin Xi. Analysis of retail pharmacy for the purchase of the antipyrectics cold and cough medications have also been conducted, and it did not provide a useful indicator of early community SARS-CoV-2 activity. In the 2019 and also during the period of July to December 2019, we have conducted review of the surveillance data on all cause mortality and pneumonia specific mortality from Wuhan city and the rest of the Hubei province. It produced little evidence of substantial unexpected fluctuations in mortality that might suggest the occurrence of the transmission of the SARS CoV 2. 不能提示,2019年12月份以前,发生了新冠肺炎在人群中的传播。无足够的证据来确定,2019年12月前,武汉市就有SARS病毒的传播。there is no indication of the transmission of the SARS-CoV-2 in the population in the period for December 2019, there is not enough evidence either to determine whether SARS-CoV-2 infection had spread in Wuhan before December 2019. We have also conducted research among 233 health institutions in Wuhan by searching the records of 76,000 episodes presenting one of the four conditions, respectively fever, acute respiratory illness, influenza-like illness, and or unspecified pneumonia in the period of October the 1st to December the 10th, 2019. 采集了一些病例的病人的血样进行相关的抗体检测结果就为阴性 
。随后呢，又组织多学科的专家进行认真的研判排查，没有发现符合新冠肺炎病例的病例存在。We have also reviewed the testing of the blood obtained from the relevant、uh, data bank, and also test the antibodies in the blood samples. All were negative, and also it was followed by the multidisciplinary clinical review of those cases, which determined that none were compatible with SARS-CoV-2 infection. 那么对二零一九年十二月份。疫情爆发前两个月内，武汉市其他潜在的病例进行回顾性搜索，也未发现有新冠病毒感染病例发生的证据。结合其他的监测数据，上述两个月内，武汉市发生新冠病毒肺炎感染，它的规模的可能性不大。Retrospective research for potential earlier cases in Wuhan in the two-month period prior to the outbreak in December 2019 has not revealed clear evidence of the occurrence of the clinical cases of the SARS-CoV-2 infection. Based on analysis of this and other surveillance data, it is considered unlikely that any substantial transmission of SARS-CoV-2 infection was occurring in Wuhan during those two months. 那么，在二零一九年的十二月，武汉市人群中发生了一定规模的新冠肺炎的感染传播，大多数的报告日期是在十二月的下半个月。那么，许多的早期病例与华南海鲜市场有关，就提示该市场可能是。一个病毒传播的爆发点是爆发点之一，我说，但在同一时期，传播也可能在武汉其他地方发生。Substantial transmission of SARS-CoV-2 infection occurred in the population of Wuhan in December 2019, with most cases reported in the second half of that month. Many early reported cases were associated with Huanan Market, indicating that it was one of the focus of the transmission. Nevertheless, transmission was also occurring elsewhere in Wuhan at the same time. 那么根据目前的资料，我们还无法确定新冠病毒是如何传入华南海鲜市场的。二零一九年十二月。武汉市可能发生了感染的传播。这些 ，It is not possible on the basis of the current epidemiological information to determine how the SARS-CoV-2 was introduced into the Huanan market. Substantial transmission of SARS-CoV-2 infection occurred among the population of Wuhan in December 2019. 那么，鉴于部分的早期病例。与华南海鲜市场有关，也有部分病例与其他市场有关，还有部分病例与任何的一个市场都没有关系。所以我们初步的判定，华南海鲜市场很可能是一个病毒传播的爆发点，但同时，武汉其他地方地方似乎也有可能。存在着传播现象。根据目前的资料，无法来判定这个病毒是如何引入华南市场或其他市场的。While some of the early cases had a, had an association with the Huanan seafood market, others were associated with other markets, and other cases have no market association at all. It is likely that Huanan seafood market acted as a focus for transmission of the virus, but there are also transmission appearing to have the occurrence elsewhere in Wuhan at the same time. This is our basic judgment.
It is not possible on the basis of the current information to determine how SARS-CoV-2 was introduced to, into the Huanan market. Gangwa the third part of my introduction will be the research of the animal environment group, the third group of our joint mission. Coronaviruses that phylogenetically relate to SARS-CoV-2 have been identified in different animals, including horseshoe bats and pangolins. Sampling of bats in Hubei province, however, has failed to identify evidence of SARS-CoV-2-related viruses and sampling of wildlife in different places in China has so far failed to identify the presence of SARS-CoV-2. In environmental sampling in Huanan market from right at the point of its closing reviewed widespread contamination of surfaces with SARS-CoV-2 compatible with introduction of the virus through infected people or contaminated cold chain products, animals and animal products. According to this research, all the samples related to the animal products or animals were all negative. For the cold chain products and relevant testing, the research is on the ongoing stage. Kazalentongshi 它对传播的作用在低温潮湿的环境下的研究是需要进一步的加强。SARS-CoV-2 can persist in conditions found in frozen food, packaging and cold chain products. In death cases, in recent outbreaks in China, have been linked to the cold chain. Studies have shown that the virus can survive for a long time, not only at low temperatures, but also at refrigerated temperature indicating that it can be carried long distance on cold chain products. So further research of the virus in terms of its uh, persistence in the low, in, low environment and also in the damp environment where the humidity is, uh, is, uh, is relatively high will be, under, will be the further research. In 该市场的最初确诊病例跟销售冷链产品的摊位有何定义的关系,这都需要进一步的研究。In Huanan market, a substantial number of stores sell cold chain products, but it is unclear how well the initial cases in people associated with the market can be mapping or corresponded to the stores that sell these products. We need further research. In this area. So, this is my introduction of our major findings of the three groups of the joint mission.
。好，谢谢，谢谢梁年先生。下面我们有请皮特先生做介绍。Thank you, Professor Liang Wanian. Now I would like to invite Dr. Peter to give an introduction. Thank you, Dr. Mifang and uh, Professor Wanian, for the introduction and for presenting um, our findings and also how we have conducted our uh, work. 感谢米峰先生以及万年教授给我们进行了简要的介绍，并且介绍了我们在工作当中的初步发现以及我们怎么样开展的工作。I'm here、uh, this afternoon with、uh, Marion Koopman from the Erasmus Center in the Netherlands.、Uh, she's one of the、uh, member of the international team that、uh, came here、uh, a month ago. Together with colleagues from、uh, WHO and、uh, OIE, and、uh, she represents here the entire team who unfortunately cannot、uh, sit with us in the room, and、uh, we will share a question later on、uh, together. Today, 下午呢，跟我一起坐在主席台上的是 Maria Kupman 斯教授，他是伊拉斯穆大学医学院病毒学系的教授，他是我们国家呃，他是我们国际团队的成员之一。那么我们这个团队呢，也包括来自世卫组织以及世界动物卫生组织等等相关机构的这个专家。我们这个团队一个月之前到达了中国，开展了相关的工作。很遗憾，就是我们的团队呢，没有没有办法今天一起跟我们。在这个新闻发布会的房间里，但是我们一个月来一直一起开展合作。And I would like to start by thanking you,、uh, you who are here in the room today, and uh, uh, those uh, joining us uh, remotely. We have、uh, followed many of you in the past few weeks, and I would like to salute those who we have seen every day following us.、Uh, On cold days, for long hours, in the rain and bad weather, and really,、uh, we thank you for following us. It,、uh, it has provided us with constant reminding、uh, of the importance of this work and the focus that the, the whole world is putting on this work. So, thank you for following us. We <coughs> want to thank. 在场的、在现场以及在线参加今天发布会的朋友们，那么也是要向大家表示致敬，因为在过去的一段时间里面，我知道大家都非常的关注我们的工作，包括要常常要加班，在这里呃关注我们的一些一些这个活动，而且呢，有的时候天气也不好，比如说下雨啊，你们也都在一直在。跟随着我们，那么你有你们跟随在我们身后，时刻提醒着我们，我们开展的工作是多么的重要，是有很多人关注的。And the international team would like to recognize the impact of the epidemic on Wuhan, on the city of Wuhan, from the individuals、uh, affected, the communities affected, both from、uh, the governments, the officials, the scientists, and the health workers in particular who. For the disease last year, and、uh, here in particular,、uh, thank and commend the engagement of my colleague Professor Wanyan, who spent、uh, several months here、uh, last year、uh, on the front line. Thank you for that, Professor Wanyan. We, this international team, is to understand the epidemic of Wuhan. 所产生的影响，包括从个人、从社区、从政府官员、科学家以及医务工作者的角度去看一看这个疫情所产生的影响。那么还有在这里，我要感谢万年教授在过去的几个月里面一直跟我们进行合作，谢谢。So you have heard、um, the many findings、um, that we have.、Uh, Detected out of our studies and work in the past few weeks, and、um, they will be detailed, of course, in the report of this mission、uh, that will be released、uh, later on. I would like to concentrate on some of our key conclusions from these findings, and、uh, we came here with two goals, two objectives. One was to Try to get a better understanding of what happened at the beginning of the event in December 2019. This was the starting point、uh, for our work, but also the starting point 
of the uh, initial outbreak. So we've focused on trying to understand what happened during that period and try to see if that period had a previous history. Could we move the history of the start of the outbreak further uh, down the line in earlier uh, weeks of 2019. And then, in parallel, we also embarked on trying to understand how, how it happened. How did the virus emerge and at some point uh, jumped and uh, was introduced in the human population? So these were the two broad, large uh, objectives we had and all our studies and work and discussion and visits were trying to uh, get better understanding of these two uh, pictures. 通过我们的研究已经有了一些初步的发现具体的详细的内容会在后面我们的一些报告当中体现那么这里想给大家介绍一些我们主要的发现我们此行其实主要有两个目的第一个呢就是想了解通过找到的相关的线索能够进一步的去追踪疫情的起始的时间看是不是可以把它追溯到一九年疫情爆发之前的几个星期那么第二个目的呢就是想了解到疫情是怎么样发生的病毒是怎么样出现的怎么样传入
early on in, uh, in the months of December, and then we start to see small outbreaks where the disease starts to spread in, uh, in clusters, and we have seen, among others, that happening in the Huanan market. 那么这样的一个情况呢，是比较典型的疫情爆发的这样的情况。一开始在十二月初的时候，可能是有少期的病例，然后呢会出现聚集型的病例，包括在华南市场以及其他的地方。And these early clusters are usually also in this case the way one detects the first cases, the first sign of these emerging diseases, and that's what happened during the months of December. 2019。那么一般呢，是因为有了这样聚集型的病例，才呃，这这呃，才是给我们传递了一个讯号，就是呃，有了这样的一个疫情的爆发，这个时间是2019年的12月份。And when mapping all the initial cases over time throughout December, combining that with location and mapping of some of them in the markets, in different parts of the market. And combining that with uh, um, genetic sequences and genetic information from some of these cases, we could uh, see that uh, picture becoming more and more clear of uh, a spread within the market and spread outside the market, initially with very few cases and then more and more cases uh, as we moved into uh, January 2020. 那么我们也把十二月份的病例的相关的发病时间以及地点进行联系起来，绘制了相关的绘制了这样的一个地图，然后我们会发现，当然同时还结合它的有一些的基因测序的相关的信息，呃，这个图景呢，就当时的情况
蝙蝠的这样的一个，就蝙蝠比较多的这样的一个环境，或者说不是离这个环境比较近，所以不太可能是在武汉直接发生由蝙蝠传人。但是在武汉呢，也有一些其他的动物，也可能是通过其他的动物来。这个病毒呢，才引入进人类。那么，也许是跟华南市场有关。The market was uh, dealing primarily with the frozen uh, product, in particular frozen animal product uh, and mainly seafood. But there were also vendors uh, selling uh, products from uh, domesticated wildlife, farmed. Wild animals and their products. 华南海鲜市场呢，主要是售卖冷冻的动物产品，也有一些海鲜。当然，华南市场海鲜市场里面有一些商贩也售卖养殖的野生动物的产品。So the the joint team uh, uh, in their uh, studies uh, have identified uh, the vendors who were uh, trading these type of products. Identify the suppliers of these uh, vendors. Identify the farms from where these products were coming from, and they were coming from different parts of uh, of the country. And some of the products were also uh, imported products, of course. So there is the potential to continue to follow uh, this lead and further uh, look at the supply chain and the animals that. Were supplied to the market in uh, in uh, in um, frozen and other uh, processed and semi-processed form or raw form. So, the joint team also found that selling such products to the market and some of the products to the market in the United States. 些呢，还有是进口的产品，所以未来呢，我们可能要进一步的去追踪，在供应链上呢开展一些研究。There was also a large amount of testing for the coronavirus uh, responsible for COVID-19 in many different animal species uh, throughout the country in large number of samples of both domestic animals, farmed animals, wild animals. Uh, in, in many different provinces. And uh, through these studies, uh, it has not been possible to pinpoint any uh, animal species as a potential reservoir for this disease. And they indicate that currently and also back in 2019, it doesn't look like there was wide uh, circulation of the virus in any animal species in the country. 也对于具体的一些动物的物种进行了新冠病毒的抽样和检测，包括一些养殖场的动物、一些养殖动、一些野生动物等等。那么从现在来看呢，呃，现在的证据来看呢，现在以及二零一九年没有新冠病毒在呃，新冠病毒没有在这个中国的动物中有广泛传播。So the search for uh, the possible uh, root of in Production of the virus through different animal species and, and the specific reservoir are still uh, work in progress. So what we did uh, after looking at our findings and combining the information that we could extract from this finding, and uh, we then sat down and said and told ourselves, okay, the next step is let's look at the future, what are these conclus conclusions telling us and how are we going to move forward in our search for uh, the start of the story. So we look at all the possible pathways for the introduction of the virus into the human uh, population. And uh, you will have the details in the report, but it's basically a very simple illustration of different pathways coming from wild animals into uh, different uh, environments where human and animals and products can, uh, can interact. We also have done a specific hope to be able to find out from different animals through different paths to enter the human body. We also hope to be able to understand the disease 
畜主或者宿主是哪些动物。那么基于我们现在的一些主要的发现，我们也列出了下一步。的一些计划或者是建议，也就是未来我们要开展怎样的工作，能够帮助我们解回答这些问题。呃，包括我们在考虑病毒传入人类或者病毒引入人类可能会遵循哪些路径。最终的这个报告当中呢，会对这个问题是有详细的描述。这里呢，我给大家展示了一个图，我们是用图示的方式给大家展示出动物呃病毒。引入人类的不同的路径，包括野生动物可能通过环境、通过人、通过中间宿主来引入。Out of that exercise, we then identified、uh, four main、uh, hypotheses or group of hypotheses on how the virus could have been introduced in the human population, and we decided to take that approach. To really cover all the possible pathways initially, without any value in out and without any assessment or a judgment, but purely to make sure that we would cover all the possible、uh, pathway for the introduction of the virus in the human population. Then, we then formed the four hypotheses. 人类的四个假说，那么我们是希望呢，能把所有可能的假说、可能这个路径列出来，先不设任何的预判或者判断，把可能的路径先都列出来。Once we identify these four key uh, hypotheses, uh, we also did a literature search to make sure that we would not have missed、uh, some valuable、uh, options. Uh, that others could have come up with, and then we、uh, sat down and went through these different hypotheses one by one, and、uh, assessed their likelihood by putting forward arguments for and arguments against such hypotheses, and then assessing the likelihood of each of them in a systematic way, in a rational way. Using scientific uh, uh, arguments and combining all the information that we had collected,、uh, collectively collected, in、uh, in the past、uh, four weeks, and also, of course,、uh, using an extensive search of the literature for、um, useful scientific arguments. We. 列出了这四个假说之后呢，又进了又开展了进一步的研究，来确保我们把所有的可能性都穷尽了，而不会落下其他一些其他的可能性。那么在列出了这个假说之后呢，我们就坐下来一个一个假说的去研究，看看它有多大的发生的可能性。那么在这个过程当中，我们是列出了支持这种假说和反对这种假说的论据，然后进行评估。在这个过程中，我们遵循的。是系统性的、理性的方式，运用的科学的论据，呃，基于我们现有的已经收集的大量的信息，这些信息包括过去四周里面我们收集的一些信息和数据，也包括我们进行了大量的文献的阅读和这个综述。So the four main hypotheses that we evaluated, identified, and evaluated are first a direct zoonotic spillover, that is. Uh, a direct transmission from an animal、uh, reservoir or an animal species into the human population. So, a direct jump from an animal、uh, to、uh, a human. We listed these four hypotheses. First, it is direct from the animal. 呃，直接的这个自然宿主的溢出，也就是说，这个病毒直接从动物传人。The second Uh, hypothesis was through the introduction of the virus through an intermediary host species, meaning another animal species, potentially closer uh, uh, to humans,、uh, where the virus can potentially adapt or circulate and then again jump to、uh, humans. 
。第二个假说呢，是通过中间宿主而将病毒引入了人类，也就是说，这个病毒呢是先感染了离人距离比较近的一种动物，在这种动物中呢传播，然后感染了人。The third one、uh, was the food chain, in particular, meaning the potential for food frozen products, in particular. Acting as a surface for the transmission of the virus into the human population, and/or a food-related、uh, route of transmission. 第三种假说呢，是通过食物链，也就是通过食物，特别是冷冻的食物。那么这样的食物呢，作为一个呃引入或者是人感染病毒的一个界面，<笑>或者是通呃。造成了跟食物相关的这样的病毒感染。And the last one was、uh, the possibility of a laboratory-related incident. 最后一个假说呢是实验室呃事故。As I said, we took a systematic approach to look at all these hypotheses, putting arguments for and against, and assessing the likelihood using a standardized. Uh, set of parameters, and each of them was then used to help us prioritize future research in uh, in uh, use in a useful direction to、uh, help us continue our way forward into better understanding the virus origin. 刚才我也讲到，我们是运用系统性的方式对这四种假说进行了评估，呃，看了它的支持它的一些论据以及反对的论据，然后通过标准化的参数来评估每一种假说它的可能性。那么根据评估的结果呢，可以帮助我们去制定下一步的研究计划，看看在下一步哪些方面的研究是更为重要的。Our initial findings suggest that the introduction through an intermediary host species、uh, is the most likely pathways and one that will uh, um, require more studies and more specific uh, targeted uh, research. 在我们的发现中，我们觉得通过中间宿主引入人病毒，通过中间宿主引入人类是最可能的一种路径。因此，这就要求我们未来应该开在这方面开展更多的研究，更多的、更有具、更具体的、更有针对性的研究。Similarly, and connected to this、uh, hypothesis, is also the one including the possibility of transmission through、uh, the trade of Uh, frozen cold chain products. 同样，通过冷链的冷冻的这个产品，感染病毒或者是病毒引入人类，这也是非常可能的。And there we are making the difference between the introduction of the virus into the human population and the possibility of the circulation of the virus through long distance. And through different、uh, settings, or the introduction of the virus into a particular setting, like a market, for example. 然后在这种这个假说当中，我们还进行了区分，一个是病毒传入人类，呃，或者说病毒病毒引入人人类；第二种呢是这个病毒通过长距离的运输，在呃。呃，通过长距离的运输，在某一种场景下进行传播，比如说在市场。Then the hypothesis of a direct spillover from an original animal source into the human population is also a possible pathway and is also generating recommendation for、uh, future studies. 当然，直接由这个动物传人这种路径呢，也是可能的，也需要我们未来进行进一步的研究。However,、uh, the findings suggest that the laboratory uh, incident uh, hypothesis is、uh, extremely unlikely, and to explain the introduction of the virus into the human population, and therefore is not. And a hypothesis that will、uh, suggest that will、uh, implies to suggest 
future studies into uh, our work to support our future work into the uh, understanding of the origin of the virus. 那么关于由于实验室的事故引起的这个病毒，这种假说，我们觉得是极为不可能的。所以在未来的溯源的相关工作当中，我们不会就这方面开展工作。So this discussion on the different hypotheses and how they will help us direct our future studies was extremely helpful. And uh, we have been able to uh, then develop a series of recommendations for future studies, future work, uh, in line with the plan we had outlined uh, last July in the terms of reference for how we would go about understanding the origin of the virus and what type of sequence in the studies that would be needed uh, was developed. So the plan we developed in July 2020 is still valid. It has been extremely helpful in, in uh, guiding our work, and the recommendations we are making at the end of these missions are in line with that approach. 我们呃，关于未来的研究，我们提出这些建议是和七月份我们形成的任务大纲以及相关的计划是一致的，是相符的。在七月份的任务大纲当中，我们也明确了怎么样开来开展工作，了解病毒的源头以及各项工作应该以
analyzed and help us perhaps uh, move forward in that direction. One of them, just to give an example, is blood samples from uh, blood banks, and not only here in Wuhan and other cities and provinces of interest, but also use that material elsewhere where there are initial uh, uh, reports and indication that perhaps the virus was also present in, in, uh, in uh, individuals uh, in other places and other countries. And that kind of study would help get a better picture of the uh, initial days of the event, potentially if some of them uh, turn back positive. So we have to continue our search for material that can be analyzed and give us clues on uh, what happened uh, in the early days of uh, the event. Tiago 搜寻更多的这样的材料来了解当时的早期的一些情况，可以给大家举一个例子，比如说这个血库的这个血样，我们可以来进行检测，看一看是不是能有一些发现，不光是在武汉，还有在其他省份、其他城市以及早期的其他
动物物种的像呃可能的动物物种，我们也要开展相关的假说，呃，我们也要开展相关的研究，比如说在进行更多的调查，看一看有哪些物种可能会成为病毒的宿主。这也包举一个例子，比如说我们可以对于蝙蝠进行更多的采样和检测。那么不光是。中这个呃不光是在中国了，因为中国在这方面已经开展了大量的工作。有一些蝙蝠的物种不只是在中国，在中国的邻国以及世界上其他的国家也是有的。那么在这些很多地方呢，在这方面的研究和采样是不足的，所以未来我们也可以在这方面开展研究。We also have to do much more into understanding the possible role of the cold chain. Frozen products in the introduction of the virus and the over uh, a distance. We know that the virus can persist and survive on conditions in conditions uh, that are found in these uh, cold and frozen environments. But we don't really understand if the virus can uh, then transmit to human and under which conditions this could happen. Uh, it would be interesting to explore if. Uh, a frozen wild animal that was infected could be a potential vehicle for the introduction of the virus or other viruses into market environments where we know that the the temperature, the humidity, the environments could be conducive to a rapid spread of the virus in in such environments. So a lot of work needs to be done to better understand uh, these uh, interesting. Uh, pathways. 还有，我们要进一步的了解冷链以及冷冻食品在这个过程当中所发挥的作用。我们都知道，在冷冻的这个条件下，病毒是可以存活一段时间的。但是，究竟在什么样的条件下会实现病毒对于人的呃会呃病毒会感染人？还有就是，比如说感染了病毒的冷冻的食品是通过什么样？通过一定的载体污染了。环境，比如说像市场这样的环境，湿度和温度可能都会有助于病毒的传播。在这方面，我们要开展更多的工作，来了解具体的情况。We should also look further back in tracing the source of the products and the source of the、uh, animal products, in particular, that were in Huanan Market、uh, in December 19, and Go back and see if we can find products that were produced at that time and that are still available. To also look at the suppliers,、uh, to these、uh, vendors in the market, see if we can go further back in terms of identify、uh, interesting clues in the farming environments, in the species、uh, being raised in these farms, and where they were potentially coming from before that. So that's another areas worth exploring. 还有就是我们要追踪，呃，一些动物产品的来源，尤其是这个一二零一九年十二月份华南海鲜市场售卖的一些动物产品的来源。那么要调查一下这些动物产品现在还有没有呃流样，或者有没有样品保存。那从以这个为基础呢，再遵循再追寻到上游的呃。环呃市场的一些商贩以及上游的一些供应商，看看是不是在这样的调查当中能够发现一些线索，了解在养殖场的相关的环境以及呃是不是有病毒，以及这个养殖场附近是不是有可能的病毒的来源。What was important for us when we developed our hypothesis was to make sure that they were not geographically bound because since the beginning we have. Taken an open approach in terms of、uh, not limiting ourselves、uh, in this manner. One of the cl clear reasons is that a possible pass from whatever original animal species all the way through、uh, the Huanan market could have taken a very long and convoluted pass involving also uh, um, Movements across borders,、uh, travels, etc., before arriving in the Huanan、uh, market, and therefore it's also very interesting to follow up on every one of these clues and preliminary reports and indications that 
perhaps here and there in other places in the world, uh, there were individuals uh, who were infected and try to follow up on these and connect again the dots, connect the different pieces of information to try to uh, uh, get a better understanding of this whole picture. And again, not limiting ourselves to any preconceived ideas uh, and just following all the leads, following the science, following uh, well-designed and conducted studies.我们从一开始就是秉承着比较开放的这样的方法因为病毒的传入病毒从动物传入到人一直甚至到华南海鲜市场疫情的爆发可能经历了很长时间也可能是有长距离的这样的移动包括跨境的这样的这个活动所以说
but be systematic about it. So what that does is it lists from literature, from studies, what, where there's evidence for or against, um, and where there's uncertainty, and that is what we then have used to assess what, what do we think is more or less likely. I think going into exact percentages is, uh, is, is really overstating what can be done. It's really developed to help us structure our thinking, also structure the discussions somewhat, because these are very complex uh, uh, questions and there's many different potential uh, routes that you can think of, and that's, that's the key use of it. Uh, so we've gone as far as broad categories, most likely, less likely, and that's how uh, I think for, for the time being uh, we will use this. What we also discussed is that um, when, whenever um, uh, new information becomes available, and that could be any time because there's ongoing studies in different parts of the world, uh, we can take this again and say, okay, with this new information, does our assessment of these different entry pathways change? 这是一个很难回答的问题主要是有一个宽泛的这样的一个分类，比如说最不可能可能一直到最可能。那么，如果说未来因为现在世界各地还有很多相关的一些研究，如果这些研究给我们提供了新的信息，我们可以再回到这样的一个图，根据我们现有
And actually, one of the deepest impressions for me is that, as regards for the question you were asking, it requires a lot of uh, daunting and demanding endeavor. We have tried our best to provide an evaluation of the possible hypotheses and also other kinds of the possibilities in a scientific way by unleashing the joint wisdom from the experts of the two sides based on the existing available evidence. This is the teamwork. And also, we have not using the whole quantitative nor the uh, whole qualitative uh, method either, as it was uh, introduced by Dr. Marian. And uh, we were using the semi-quantitative method to conduct the relevant research. We have uh, a stratification of five levels and to match each evaluation of different kinds of the possibility to put them into different matrices to have a comprehensive consideration and evaluation. Next question, please. Uh, Hwana um, with CGTV, I have one question related to Huanan Seafood Market. Is Huanan Seafood Market the source of the COVID-19 epidemic in Wuhan? What are the possible infection sources of the cases related to Huanan Seafood Market? How was the virus introduced to Huanan Seafood Market? And what are those kind of possible early transmission routes? Is Huanan Seafood Market the earliest uh, outbreak source of the Wuhan epidemic? Dr. Peter, over to you. Thank you for uh, some very well thoughts and detailed questions. These are exactly the same questions we have ourselves, so you should join us next time on the team. Um, we don't know the exact role of the Huanan markets. Uh, we know that there was spread among people who were and lived and worked and visited the Huanan market throughout December. How it was introduced and spread within the market is still unknown. We have a map and we have mapped over time the spread of the virus uh, among the earlier cases who were linked to the market. So we have a picture of where the cases uh, worked, for example, in the market. Uh, we have also genetic sequences for some of these cases that we can uh, use to help us to understand this picture. And all that tells us that uh, there was a spread among people in the Huanan markets in December and therefore the market probably was a setting where uh, that kind of spread uh, could happen easily. Uh, but it's not the whole story. Um, and uh, we know that there was also spread among individuals uh, who were not linked to this market. They were linked to other markets. They had no link to markets. So the picture is not clear in that respect. And for the introduction part, uh, it's pa part of the discussion we are having and the work we are planning ahead of us through this hypothesis uh, evaluation is to um, understand how it was introduced. And as of today, we are still working with the hypothesis that it could have been introduced by a, a person who was infected and then spread it to uh, other person in the market. And that could be one of the traders, it could be a visitor, uh, but it could also be through the introduction of a product, uh, one of, uh, uh, as I mentioned, uh, among the more interesting products were uh, frozen farmed wild animals. And some of these species are known species susceptible to these kind of viruses. So these are providing clues and providing uh, direction 
for the next round of uh, studies. We have a lot of good material now to further explore many of these uh, avenues and uh, hopefully some of them will provide us with uh, a good direction uh, afterwards. 谢谢您提出的非常具体的问题您提的这些问题实际上我们之前也一直在问我们自己所以下次也欢迎您加入我们的团队那么关于您提的问题实际上我们并不是清楚的知道华南海鲜市场具体它发挥了什么样的作用我
这种病是什么样的自然史和状况，可能就是发现它有比较聚集性的一种肺炎的出现，所以就着重对华南海鲜市场进行了调查。那么早期的以肺炎这个为主的症状为主的这种。呃，可疑的病例调查，你就会发现，大部分是有华南市场的暴露史的。但是后来我们到有检测能力、检测手段，我们对这个疾病的认识更进一步的深入的时候，我们进行回顾性调查，那么发现，在确诊的病人当中，就有一部分，他就没有华南海鲜市场的暴露史。所以这几个综合起来呢，就是刚才皮德博士所说的那样，呃，我们现在不能断定它就是最早的，呃，可能它的来源，呃，我们的那个三条，从动物直接，从动物通过中间宿主到人，以及我们的冷链系统，啊、呃，这一块的传播还有待进一步的研究，谢谢。I would like to offer additional comment. First, according to the current research um, conclusion, the uh, earliest case either, as it was also do uh, introduced by Dr. Peter, the onset date of the earliest case in this uh, joint research was in December the 8th, 2019. And also, the earliest confirmed case that has association with Huanan Seafood Market was uh, December the 12th. And actually, according to our research from the epidemiological group, the case with the onset date on December the 8th and actually have no relationship or association either with Huanan Seafood Market. The second point I would like to explain is that why do we have uh, attached so much importance to Huanan Market in terms of the consideration whether Huanan Market is one of the earliest places of the outbreak or even the source of the outbreak? Because at the beginning, we have very limited knowledge concerning the properties and features and the ETO, uh, etiology of the virus and the disease as well. And at the beginning, we detected this kind of pneumonia-like disease and actually can occur on the cluster base. So that is why we focus our early research in Huanan market and relevant uh, uh, cases that have association with Huanan seafood market. For the earlier cases with the suspected pneumonia or the PUE, pneumonia of unknown etiology, and actually in the research of those early cases, a large number or a high proportion of those early cases had association or have market exposure history with Huanan seafood market. But later, when there have been better and much improved testing ca uh, capacity and also with the improvement and development with different kinds of the testing tools or test kits, we have greatly increased our understanding of, uh, of the virus. So when we conduct the retrospective study related to the early cases, in the earlier confirmed cases, a uh, majority of those earlier confirmed cases actually did not have any market exposure history with Huanan seafood market. Uh, it was also mentioned by Dr. Peter previously. And actually, uh, we have also conducted the relevant research of the possible introduction of the virus transmission of the Huanan seafood market from the uh, several possible introduction pathway, either directly from animal, from animal to any intermediate uh, hosts, or from the cold chain transmission or introduction. So we are having full exploration of these kind of possible introduction pathways. And this will be also a highlight of the future research. Next question, please. Thank you. Uh, Tom Cheshire, Sky News. Um, of the four hypotheses, the only one you decisively rejected was the laboratory incident. Can you explain uh, the evidence or the reasoning for uh, discarding that hypothesis. Uh, 
，实验室的这个假说是不可能的，能不能给我们解释一下为什么觉得这样的假这个假说是不可能的？好，我们请 Peter 先生。Dr. Peter, thank you. Thank you. And、uh, we evaluated this hypothesis in the same way we evaluated the, the other hypothesis with the method described by、uh, by Marian. So we looked at what are the arguments for and against such a hypothesis. So in in、uh, in, in short, you will see in the report the more detailed、uh, evaluation of this hypothesis. But in short, it's about Yes, accidents do happen.、Um, unfortunately, we have many examples from many countries in the world of、uh, past accidents. So, of course, this is、uh, not impossible. It happens once in a while.、Uh, we also, in terms of um, um, arguments against, look at the fact that.、Uh, Nowhere previously was this particular virus、uh, researched or identified or known. There have been no publication, no、uh, reports of this virus or another virus extremely linked or closely linked to this、uh, being worked、uh, with in any other laboratory in the world. We were also、uh, discussing with the、uh, managers and the staff of. Many of the relevant laboratories in、uh, in the region, and、uh, looking and discussing with them、uh, these hypotheses as well, and、uh, hearing from them how their uh, uh, staff health monitoring program, how their audit program, for example, are conducted, and what these revealed in the past、uh, months and years.、Uh, we also looked, for example, at the Uh, Wuhan Institute of Virology uh, 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 PSL4 level laboratory and the state of that laboratory, and it was、uh, <clears throat> very unlikely that anything could escape from such a place.、Um, and we also、uh, know that、uh, when lab accidents happen, they are of course extremely rare.、Uh, if you look at The history of lab accidents; these are extremely rare events. So this is not the first thing that happened、uh, on a, or, or would happen on a, a regular basis. So many of these evaluation and、uh, arguments were put for and against, and helped us take a rational approach to assessing the likelihood of such an event、uh, happening. And、uh, and of course, as I said, in terms we look both at the arguments against, but also the arguments for to make sure that we were not biased in our approach. And again, in terms of arguments uh, for uh, the fact that, as I said,、uh, past accidents have happened、uh, all over the world.、Uh, there was, of, of course, the fact that、uh, some of these laboratories were、uh, in in the city、uh, of Wuhan, uh, and. Uh, <coughs> And of course, all these arguments were put、uh, forth and against each other in helping us making this assessment. 就像刚才 Maria 讲的，我们在评估各个假说的时候，会列出支持这一项假说以及反对这样想这样的假说的这个证呃论据。那么，然后呢，根据这些论据和证据再进行评估。关于实验室的假说，当然有。支持我们列出来的支持实验室泄露这个假说的证据，就是在过去我们会看到，在世界有些地方，呃，实验室这个泄露病毒或实验室事故是时有发生的。除此，但是我们还有一些支持呃反对这样的一个假说的一些证据，比如说到目前为止还没有在这个疫情发生之前没有。没有对于这个相呃这样的一个病毒的研究，至少是没有公开发表这样的研究，然后也没有已经那个时候从开已经发表的这些研究当中呢，相没有跟他比较接近的这个。
病毒。那么此外呢，我们还跟相关实验室的管理人员以及工作人员进行了讨论，也跟他们讨论了这样的一个假说，并且询问了他们是如何开展相关的研究工作，怎么样去进行每比如定期的，比如说每个月、每个季度、每一年，怎么样去定期相定期的来进行检查、来进行总结。此外，我们去武汉病毒所也参观了他的 P 四实验室，看到了相关。这个实验室的相关的状态，我们觉得呃不可能，病毒不可能从那个实验室，不是不可能从那个实验室泄露。还有就就像刚才我们讲到的，我们列出了这样的支持这个假说的证据以及反对这个假说的证据，在以此为基础来进行理性的分析、综合平衡，来判断它的呃这个假说的可能性。这样做是为了尽量的。能够排除掉或者消除一些偏移，所以我们是基于这样的一些证据做出了判断。For us, it was important to develop a system to evaluate all these hypotheses, where we could take a rational approach and look at facts and evidence in a rational way, and try to move away from the situation that has.、Uh, Been、uh, around for the past year, where all of us and many people around the world have all come up with、uh, their personal views and feelings. We wanted to move away from "I think this is it this way" or "I believe it is this way"、uh, and try to move away from that and put rational and、uh, facts on the table that everybody can then look in in a in a systematic way. We felt that that was a much more useful approach、uh, than to put personal views, feelings,、uh, uh, etc., or looking at only half、uh, of the arguments. Thank you. 我们是在评估这些假说的时候，是采取了系统性的方式，用理性的方法来进行分析。呃。看一看我们现在现有的一些证据以及数据，而并不不能像这个一年以来，世界上可能有些人会在其中掺杂一些个人的感情或者是个人的一些主观判断，比如说觉得我觉得是这样，我认为是这样。我们是希望用事实说话，能够在事实的基础上进行判断，而不是出于自己的主观的感受和臆断。梁文年先生有什么补充 ？Professor Liang， 呃，我是赞同呃 p e t 博士的这种呃说明的，因为对于实验室的这个呃极不可能的这个结论的出现，我们专家组是经过认真的呃讨论，呃，是作为呃非常严肃认真的来做出的这个结论。啊，其实实验室的这个途径不外乎两条，一个是人工合成，第二个就可能是泄露。人工合成的问题早已被科学家们所证实是不可能的。泄露的问题，一个基本的问题就是说，比如说以我们武汉为例，实验室当中根本就没有新型冠状病毒，它谈何泄露呢？啊，所以再加上我们严格的一些管理措施。加上其他的一些证据，啊，结果会要展示，所以极不可能的结论，呃，我们以为根据现在我们的认识和判断，呃，是这样做出的。谢谢。I agree with the answer offered by Dr. Peter. The hypothesis of lab leak is put into the matrix of Extremely unlikely as a conclusion of the research outcome of the joint expert team, on the basis of a serious discussion and very diligent research, we have reached the extremely unlikely conclusion. As regards for the hypothesis of lab leak, there are two possible pathways. If there was one, first the virus was engineered by humans. But this hypothesis has already been refuted by the whole scientific community around the world. Second, there may be a leak of the virus from the lab. But in terms of the leaking of the virus, it should be leaking of an existing or known virus. However, in all the laboratories in Wuhan, 
there is no existing virus of SARS-CoV-2, if there is no existence of this virus, there will be no way that this virus would be leaked. So, in addition, in all the laboratories in Wuhan, including WIV, they uphold a very stringent and high-quality management system. And also proceeding from the current evidence, we regard the lab leak hypothesis is extremely unlikely. Thank you. 好，谢谢，请继续提问。Next question, please. 好，我们来请右侧区第三排第四位女记者。嗯、呃，湖北广播电视台记者提问：新冠肺炎疫情在武汉已经过去了九个多月的时间了。那么，请问专家组是如何对疫情早期进行追根溯源的工作的呢？谢谢。From Hubei Broadcast and TV Network, I. Wuhan, how do the joint expert team members conduct this kind of、uh, source tracing, including the identification of the early cases? Thank you. 好，请。皮特先生来回答这个问题。So maybe I can start. So、um, what was done was a series of studies.、Uh, so of course there were reports of known cases from、uh, later December, and there was a series of studies to try and find if there was evidence for earlier circulation. And that was done by a systematic analysis that is in the report of different、uh, registrations. One is a registration that uh, that uh, lists、uh, the number of people with fever, with respiratory symptoms、um, uh, in uh, in a wider region. That was looked at to see if there was evidence for earlier increase in the number of people with flu-like symptoms, for instance.、Um, that was seen in December, but not before that. The same was done looking at uh, mortality in uh, uh, mortality statistics, and we've seen in other countries that that is a very that that, that correlates very well with. Activity of uh, uh, SARS-CoV-2, so that again showed increase a peak uh, that that that、uh, said there was considerable circulation in December, second half of December, but not really much before that. And the third element was a very uh, extensive uh, review of. Patients and patient records by uh, uh, teams, clinical teams from, I think it was 233 <laughs> healthcare centers in uh, uh, Wuhan, and、um, so they have, with their knowledge of now what COVID cases look like, have looked back in their records. To see if they found evidence for earlier cases, so that is what has been done. So what all the studies then showed was there was an, a number of、uh, recorded cases in December,、uh, with the first people that were mentioned just uh, there by uh, uh, Professor uh, uh, Wan Yan. So that's that's how that was done. So. We cannot, by that process, say there was absolutely no、uh, circulation and there were no cases before December because that's not、uh, what you can do by this approach. But what we can say is there's no evidence for widespread circulation much earlier. So、uh, that's that's what the the studies、uh, conclude. 我们开展了一系列的研究，主要是希望能看一看，呃，一一个是看十二月份的已知病例的一些报告，还有呢，就是我们试图开展相关的研究，寻找更早的
这些病例。那么进行了为此呢，我们进行了系统性的分析，有这么几类的研究。第一呢，就是我们会看一些登记的患者的呃登记的患者的这个情况。主要是有呃发烧症状，或者是有呼吸以及有呼吸道症状的一些患者的信息。那么会有证据表明呢，在十二月份的时候有这个，比如说流感样病例，会是不是呃我们在寻找在十二月份是不是有流感样病例的这个增加？那么在十二月份之前呢，没有发现这样的迹象。还有第二个。呃，研究呢，第二个、第二方面的工作就是关注的是死亡率方面的研究，因为在其他国家，呃，有表明呢，新冠肺炎的爆发或者、呃、新冠疫情的传播是会跟死亡率的变化、死亡率的这个数据的变化是有关系的。但是我们、呃、比如说，这个新冠疫情如果大规模爆发的话，可能死亡率就会出现一个峰值。这个我们是看到十二月份的下半个月才会有一些死亡率的方面的变化。第三个呢，就是我们又进行了大量的回顾性的病例的这个筛查，或者回顾性的病例的这个呃研究。呃，我记得是。二百三十三家医院的临床团队是基于他们对于现在对新冠病毒的认识，重新去审阅了当时的病例的资料，呃，看一看是不是有更早期的，是不是能够发现更早期的这个病例。那么我们也发现，就像刚才梁教授所讲到的，我们在十二月份的时候是发现了多个报告的病例。但是在十二月份之，我们现在不能断定说十二月份之前就没有病例，或者是没有新冠病毒的传播，因为我们基于现在的证据没有办法下这个结论。但至少我们可以说，基于现在没有证据表明十二月份之前是有病毒的广泛的传播，这个是没有没有相关证据的。好，看看看，梁万年组长有什么补充意见 ？Professor Liang， 呃，我就补充一点。其实，在方法学上来看，我们的这种研究实际上是三个最重要的方法：一个是回顾性，第二个是对原有的资料和信息的审核，呃和综述；第三个用系统的观念，试图把多个因素进行综合的分析，呃，大概是这种三种方法。所以，它既有现状的一种描述，也有一些。呃，上下左右前后的比较性的分析，所最终得出了这个综合的结论和判断。谢谢。Additional introduction of the methodologies that we have been adopting in this joint、uh, joint research, and actually in our joint research, it covers three kinds of methodology. First, we conduct ample and abundant retrospective study. And second, by reviewing the accumulated or existing information or material, we try to generate literature review and also to have some relevant analysis in a comprehensive manner of those、uh, existing material or information. The third kind of methodology is that we try to connect the dots by analyzing from a full-fledged manner different associated factors. By pricing in as many factors as we can in a highly integrated and systematic manner, so in our research, our diversified and multi-pronged approaches or methodologies can allow us to have、uh, different kinds of comparative study and also to better draw inference from those kind of causal relationship analysis. So apart from those kind of、uh, multi Uh, or broad spectrum analysis, we also provide description of the current situation. So these kind of、um, all encompassing research methodologies can allow us to reach a more comprehensive conclusion portfolio. 好，我们的发布会已经开了两个半小时。呃，时间关系呢，我们最后再问一个问题，请继续提问。We are already having two and five hours、uh, together in this press conference due to the interest of time. Last question, please.
。好，我们请左侧区第五排第三位穿蓝色衣服的记者。Thank you. Um, from the Wall Street Journal, I was wondering if you could talk a little more about the uh, the animals that were found um, alive or dead at the Huanan Market. Um, for example, I don't think it's ever been confirmed what exactly those animals were. Um, and you mentioned that some are known to carry uh, coronaviruses. Have you identified some that are therefore of greater interest to you as potential intermediate hosts? Uh, have you identified ones that maybe were in the market earlier, but it had left by the time that uh, inspectors arrived, by the time the market was closed? And in terms of the following the trail and trying to uh, identify the traders and the, the farms and the sources of those animals, could you go into a bit more detail about how far you've got and, and what's the stumbling block, what needs to be done next? And then a, qu a quick follow-up on the Wuhan Institute of Virology. Um, I just wanted, you mentioned that uh, the, uh, there, there were no coronaviruses in Wuhan that matched uh, SARS-CoV-2. But did you obtain, um, did you ask for and obtain uh, information, data, samples um, regarding any gain-of-function experiments that uh, might have been done at the Wuhan Institute of Virology, uh, which might have been you know, working with one type of coronavirus and then enhancing it uh, um, in, in, uh, through sort of genetic manipulation. Um, thank you. Hi,今天日报。我想问的问题是,能不能介绍一下在华南海鲜市场,你们了解到的关于出售的,华南海鲜市场出售的活体动物以及这个死体动物的 呃, 情况在那里发现了究竟发现了什么样的动物还有就是通过你们的发现是不是能够找到一些相关的动物你们觉得可能是中间宿主的还有这个你们刚才也讲到了会对于商户对于上游的养殖场以及相关的供应链产品的源头
That's how we've uh, looked at that. 由 Maria 教授来先回答这个问题，关于动物的问题。这我们想强调的一点就是，我们在呃市场检测的这个动物的样本是没有阳性的。那么，这对于这个呃动物的大量追溯活动呢，要涉及到大量的这个动物呃会是呃，我们会发现呢，在市场是有。有很多的这个动物出现，那么有一些呃有一些的样本呢，呃有一些的物种呢，可能是对于新冠病毒是易感的，比如说竹鼠，比如说鼬獾，还有兔子等等。那么还有呢，就是可能有一些相似的动物在疫情爆发之前也在市场是有售卖的。那么这样的一个追溯工作或者是回溯工作，只是我们的一个切入点，希望能够了解早期或者更早的疫情爆发前到底是一个什么样的情况。还有呢，就是我们在追溯的过程当中，可能追踪到了相关的供应商，比如说某一个养殖场。或者是这个产品来自哪一个地区？有些地区可能是呃，有些地区呢是位于呃呃，有些有些地区呢可能在那里有病呃蝙蝠的呃相关的病毒呃，但是我想说的是，这样的一个追溯活动只是我们理性研究的一个切入点，是帮助我们去。发现更多的线索，来帮助我们下一步进一步的开展工作，更加的了解具体的情况。And then、uh, I will take the second part of your question about the Wuhan Institute of Virology. We we went there and we have also、uh, received the visits of some of the staff here, and they have participated in further discussions and uh, and uh, work with us. So we've had over the weeks quite a, a substantial interaction、uh, with the staff there, and during the visit, we first had the visit of the of the place, the institute, the different laboratories, and then、uh, a very long, frank,、uh, open discussion、uh, with the, with the management and the staff of the institute. First, they gave us、uh, a description, very detailed description of、uh, their research. Both present and past,、uh, the, all the projects involving their studies with bats and coronaviruses, and、uh, and so on,、uh, and also、uh, some of the more、um, advanced、uh, projects. And then we engage in a discussion、uh, with them on the different lab-related、uh, hypotheses, because of course they have been.、Uh, On the front line of the discussion around these、uh, these hypotheses for the past year, and it was very interesting to to hear directly from them how their thinking was in terms of how can we explain this one, how can we dismiss this one,、uh, are we are we using the wrong arguments, are we using the wrong、uh, providing the wrong evidence, or are we answering questions in、uh, in the wrong way? So we had a very interesting discussion on on, on their views on all these uh, uh, hypotheses and uh, uh, involving、uh, their lab, and,、uh, and 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 we discuss how to improve that、uh, communication, how to provide the right arguments for for in the future for better explaining、uh, their position, explaining their views, and of course they're the best one to be able to. Uh, dismiss any of these claims and、uh, and provide answers to all the questions that are out there、uh, around it. So we also feel that by again taking our、uh, detailed and rational approach,、um, we will help to better clarify some of these、uh, claims around、uh, specific studies,、uh, gain of function, working with samples directly from uh, 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 from bats, etc. And you will also have in the report the、uh, minutes of our、uh, different visits and、uh, meetings with different individuals, and this one will, of course, also be、uh, in the report. Thank you. 
我来回答你的后半部分的问题，关于武汉病毒所的，我们已经我们去了武汉病毒所，而且呢也跟他们的工作人员进行了非常呃深入的交流。我们去武汉病毒所呢，首先是参观了他们的实验室，然后呢是跟他们的管理层以及员工进行了很长时间的非常坦诚的开放式的讨论。首先呢，请他们给我们介绍了过去以及现在开展的相关工作，以及他们在在蝙蝠变种呃冠状病毒方面的研究项目，还有其他的一些先进的研究项目。然后呢，我们又跟他们探讨了相关的这个假说的问题，让他们呃直接呃问他们对于这些假说有什么样的看法，呃予以解释或者是反驳，并且给我们提供相关的他们的这个证据，为什么会觉得赞同或者是反对。呃，各种假说，我们是通过这样的机会听到了他们的一些看法，呃，而后呢，我们又讨论了怎么样能够进一步的、更好的加强沟通，能够更好的来解释，或者是更好的来解呃表达他们的这种他们的这些观点。就像我之前说的一样，我们整个过程是采取的细致的、理性的方式，希望能够来。搞清楚，呃，希望能够来来搞清楚相关的这个事实，而不是这个只是指责他们，比如说开展相关的一些嗯功能增强性的研究，或者是就他们指责他们在进行蝙蝠采样方呃。就是采了大量蝙蝠的样本进行相关的研究。关于我们探呃走访武汉病毒所的这个纪要，以及我们其他的相关的讨论纪要，也会在报告这呃整个也会随着这个整个的报告呢，会给大家公布。好，请梁万年组长做补充。Professor 梁，我补充几个数据，关于这个动物的这个问题。呃，我们这次研究呢，也专门是对二零一九年到二零二零年间，全国三十一个省份的树禽类的血清样本，这些样本呢，包括猪、牛、羊、鸡、鸭、鹅等，共计一万一千多份进行了新冠病毒的抗体检测，结果是阴性的。同时呢，我们又对一万两千。多份的动物组织和试纸样本进行新冠病毒的核酸检测，结果也是阴性的。那么第三一点呢，我们对一九年到二零年间，我国二十四个省份的两万六千八百多份来自于不同动物的样本进行这个核酸检测。结果也是阴性的。先翻译一下。I would like to cite a few numbers or figures for the joint research related to animals. First and foremost, we have conducted testing of the samples, numbering 11,000 from different kinds of the animals like pig, cow, goat, chicken. Duck and goose. In terms of the serum sample testing, as a kind of testing sampling from the livestock and poultry from 31 provinces in China from 2019 to 2020, and the testing results of those 11,000 samples of SARS-CoV-2 were all negative. We have also done the testing related to the. 12,000 swab samples from different kinds of animals in terms of PCR testing. The testing results were all negative as well. And also from 2019 to 2020, we have conducted PCR testing for 26,800 samples generated from different kinds of animals that are distributed in 24 provinces in China. Again, the PCR testing results were all negative. 那么同时呢，我们在呃对野生动物这方面的检测方面，我们对二零一九年十一月份至二零二零年的三月份，那么在收集了
呃三十五个品种动物，就是野生动物，一千九百一十四个血清样本进行抗体检测，结果是阴性的。那么之后，我们对疫情前后在华南海鲜市场、武汉市、湖北省。及湖北省周边省份和其他相关区域内，采集了近三百个物种、五万余份的野生动物样本，进行核酸检测，结果也是阴性的。Meanwhile, as regards for the testing of the samples from the wild animal, during the sample that were collected in the period from November 2019 to March of 2020, we have conducted testing of 1,914 serum samples from, 15, uh, from 35 different species of wild animals. The testing results of this antibody testing from the serological study were all negative. And also before and after the COVID-19 outbreak, we have increased our sampling sizes from, uh, from Huanan, uh, Huanan Seafood Market and also we think we have Wuhan Municipality and other cities in Hubei Province and also the neighboring provinces of Hubei. We have collected 50,000 samples of the wild animals covering 300 different, different species. With the PCR testing of those uh, more than 50,000 samples, the testing results were again negative. Thank you. 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 Thank 嗯，我来问你，所以，中国的政府和中国媒体有报道，有报道，有报道，有报道，有报道，有报道，有报道，有报道，有报道，有报道，有报道，有报道，有报道，有报道，有报道，有报道，有报道，有报道，有报道，有
there has been uh, already circulation in December, maybe late November, um, but difficult to know because the methods for that were not, uh, were not confirmatory, so they did not provide full uh, evidence for that circulation. But these uh, parts of information um, is part of what we collected, reviewed, and um, included in our recommendations um, to f for the next step. So in the next step, what we uh, say is we should really go and search for evidence uh, for earlier circulation wherever that uh, is indicated and indications like this can come from that kind of uh, literature. So this is therefore in our recommendations uh, for follow-up. And um, maybe to then say, could that mean that the virus had traveled from Wuhan to elsewhere? Um, again, here uh, we take a stepwise approach, um, but looking at what evidence is there, what evidence could be found, it, would it be possible to get genetic information and then see what that tells us? Uh, we are going to the uh表表明呢，在意大利可能十一月底到十二月初就已经有了病毒的传播，但究竟是不是这样，是不是一个确定的这个呃事实或者是结论，这个还很难来说，因为我们不知道他用的具体的是什么方法，所以很难就确认这
we have answered some of your questions today, but the other members are not here, and they will be, of course, available for questions in the coming days, and we will also organize more uh, media access in the coming days uh, for you and your colleagues. Um, as, uh, as we go back home, we will also have opportunities um, back afterwards in a few days. Um, as I said, you are on, uh, only facing uh, three of us here, but we have been over the past four weeks and even before virtually uh, worked closely with some 30 to 40 colleagues who were part of the joint team. And, uh, and over the past few weeks, we have really uh, had an intense and very productive uh, work among uh, that very special group. And I would like to thank them all individually for all their contribution and efforts. And beyond them, um, we were discussing that earlier today, the probably more than a 1,000 individuals have contributed uh, over the past four weeks in providing us with data, helping us analyzing data, generating uh, 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 reports and, and finding and helping us um, getting information and processing them. Uh, and it's also here uh, an opportunity for us to thank them all uh, for that. So as you can hear, it's a huge, huge um, uh, group and amount of work that is behind the outcome of this, of this mission and the robust and very uh, numerous details that came out of this uh, work. And uh, to go back to the work itself in my closing remark, I, I would like to um, point a, de uh, a detail that uh, marked me um, because before embarking on this uh, work, like probably many of you, um, I was thinking how will it be to actually be on the ground and trying to find answers around the first cases and uh, who are they and uh, what information could they provide about the origin of the virus. And uh, it was in a way uh, fascinating to realize that it's not, uh, these people are not holding very exciting clues. Uh, when we talked to one of the first cases who had onset of symptom in early December, uh, when you in, talk to one of these cases, you immediately think, oh, they must have some very special uh, uh, habits, hiking in the mountains, uh, having special uh, wild pets at home, all these kind of ideas pops up, and then you realize that they're very much like all of us, um, no special particular uh, history of interest, spending most of their days on the internet or doing, doing the, same, uh, the same activities and sports and, uh, uh, and jobs, office work uh, type of jobs as many of us do. So it's, it's also illustrating how complicated this work is and, and, and therefore it's not that easy to come up with all the answers after a few uh, uh, weeks of, uh, of studies. And, and therefore, we have to understand that these are complex studies. They need to be done in a systematic way, and that's how we, bit by bit, can connect the dots and get all the information um, we need to move forward. And that's the approach we have taken. That's the approach we will continue to take in continuing this work together with our colleagues uh, in China and uh, in the international team. Uh, so again, thank you to my colleagues and thank you to my friend Wan Yan <coughs> for 非常感谢大家刚才提出了很有意思的问题。实际上，大家提的这些问题，我们在几周前呢也在问我们自，也同样在问我们自己。那么，这个今天呢，有些人呃提出的问题，我们给予了回答。那么，这个但是可能有些人还没有提这，还没有提出，没机会提提问、啊。我们的团队呢也有还有其他的成员，以后呢我们会尽量争取安排其他的机会，尽量解答跟呃解答大家的问题。那么这里面大家看到。是我们三个人坐在一块儿，但实际上过去的四周里面，甚至更长的时间以前，我们
，是一整个，是一个大的团队，大概有三三四十名呃科学家聚在一起，成为一个联合的团队，呃，开展了富有成效的工作。所以也非常感谢我们的团队联合研究的团队成员，在这个过程当中为我们的工作所做出的贡献。此外，在过去的四周里面，还有上千的工作人员帮我们收集数据、分析数据。呃，收集相关的报告，帮助我们提供各种信息。在此呢，我也想借这个机会对他们表示感谢。除了这些之外，我们其实这一次的呃调查，这一次的研究呢，也有很大的一个团队在背后支持着我们，在幕后做着非常细致周到的工作。也感谢他们。那么现在我回到我们工作的本身，呃，我们都是希望，其实我我们跟大家一样，都是。在想来之前都在想，我们怎么样能够找到这些问题的答案？怎么样能够发现最早的病例？这些病例都是谁？我们会获得什么样的信息？我们是希望呃，比如说我们在呃访谈的过程当中，是跟最早期最最早早期的一个病例，就是十二月初发病的一个病例进行了交谈。我们当时想的是，这个人肯定是有什么特殊的爱好，比如说去郊外爬山呀等等。但是跟他交谈之后，我们发现这个人其实跟我们一样普普通通，没有什么特殊的爱好，平时也就是上上网。然后他的活动啊，他喜欢的一些他的爱好，他喜欢的运动啊，都跟我们没有什么差别。平时也就是上班，所以这一点实际上是提示。是我们溯源工作是一个非常复杂的工作，并不是那么容易就可以找到所有问题的答案。因此，我们要采取系统性的方式，一点一点的收集各类的各级呃各类的信息和证据，那么持续的把这个工作做下去。这就是刚之前我们一直以来我们采取的研究方法，未来我们。也会继续采取这样的研究方法，和中国的同事以及全球的同事进行合作，尽早的能够推进我们的研究。谢谢。好，谢谢，再次的谢谢三位专家。最后，我也想说，新冠肺炎疫情深刻的影响着人类的发展进程，但各国人民对美好生活的向往和追求没有变。正如谭德赛总干事说：“隧道尽头有光，只要我们携手同行，终会胜利。”中国的农历牛年春节马上就要到了，在这里也祝福大家新春吉祥，身体健康。I would like to express my appreciation to the three experts on the podium with us. COVID-19 global pandemic has been. Exerting unprecedented and profound impact to the whole human society and the future progress of the development of the global community. However, people from different countries never change their pursuit for the betterment of their life.